Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoaster Tycoon 2. Now, after the video with the results of the Dueling Coaster Contest, uh, someone asked me if I could make a tutorial on how to make a vertical lift on, uh, on your rides. Uh, well, here you can see an example of a vertical lift on a River Rapids ride. Um, the lift is actually invisible here, because the River Rapids ride doesn't have uh, track pieces for a vertical uh, for a vertical part of the track. So that's why I uh, covered it up here with the building. There are several other parks uh, that I made which have a vertical lift. So I'll first uh, show uh, two more examples, and after that I'll show you uh, how to make one. Alright, here you can see uh, multiplayer round 10. This was the team round. And we actually used the vertical lift right here. So here you can see the mini suspended coaster. And it uh, goes downhill for most of the track. And then here it goes into the dragon's mouth. And then it has to go back up here to the station. So we actually used the vertical uh, lift for that. So it goes underground here. And you can see the cars go up here and even rotate in the mid-air and then arrive back at the station. So yeah, again here the track is actually invisible just because uh, the mini suspended coaster normally cannot go uh, vertically upwards. But this was a nice trick we could use to uh, get it back to the station. And again, this is all, hap all happens inside a building, so uh, the people viewing the park don't actually see the coaster uh, move upwards in the in midair on invisible track. So now I'll show you one final example. All right, here's another park I'm working on. It's a future world, and here I actually uh, made a ride that sort of uh, looks like uh, the now removed ride Vertigo that used to be at Wallaby, uh, Belgium. Uh, so it's actually uh, also a coaster on on mini suspended coaster track. But I actually used the hairpin coaster, uh, inferred hairpin coaster cars, because it more resembled the cars used on Vertigo. I think it also looks uh, pretty cool. Anyway, um, here's the station building. And from here, the cars actually go down here into the middle of this helix, where there's a vertical uh, lift taking them uh, upwards. And actually the guests are on their back here, because for some reason these cars have sprites for uh, vertical sections of track. Anyway, um, I think that's uh, enough examples. This should give you a clue of what you can do with this. You could do this for any rides. Uh, you could also do it for uh, log flumes or... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, here I also used to lift while it's not actually vertical, but it's just very steep. But uh, that also works. Alright, let's open our test park and then I'll show you how to make one of these. Alright, here we have our test park. Now I will just show you how to do this for a River Rapids ride. Um, let's make a small station. Alright, and what we want to do is uh, we'll need some cheats for this. Let's enable the allow arbitrary ride type changes cheat. And then we select the ride and we change it to vertical drop roller coaster. And then we just make a steep section like this, put the chain lift on it. Um, we will also need the allow chain lifts on all track pieces cheat. So just make sure there's a chain lift on all track pieces. Sometimes this. Uh, Chain lift actually deselects. So, and then we just build up to how high uh, you want the vertical lift to be. You could even uh, have it rotate. And then we just finish it like this. Now, when we go back to the original ride, it was a River Rapids. Alright, and then we can just continue building. Oh, we'll need to. Uh, Disable the support limits. Or this really silly track design. It looks quite painful to ride <laughs> as it is now. But this is just uh, for demonstration purposes. 
All right. And because we put a chain lift on this upwards track, it will actually go up with a decent speed, uh, eight kilometers per hour. Um, if we didn't put the chain lift uh, here, I'm not even sure if it would make it up, but it would go painfully slow. So yeah, remember to put a chain lift there. And if you change it to a different ride type, the one that does have a chain lift, let's use the car through roller coaster, then you can change the chain lift speed to something lower if you want it to be uh, lower. And when you unlock operating limits, I think you can make it even lower. But yeah, it depends on uh, how fast you want it to be. And then if we change it back to River Rapids, it will keep that uh, speed that we set when it was a different ride type. Yeah, three kilometers per hour. I think I would make it a little bit faster, but that's really up to you. No, because uh, we put a chain lift here, it also doesn't really matter how many guests are in the boat. They will always go at that uh, set speed. Now, of course, uh, the track is invisible now. Um, it's up to you how you want to present this to your uh, viewers. I typically just cover up this track, maybe make a window or two so that you can just see the boats. Um, because obviously, uh, well, yeah, there's not, not really a track that fits uh, for this. I actually saw in one park that uh, people actually used um, uh, a ride that had uh, trains that looked like track pieces and they would uh, synchronize it with this track just so the track piece would be would always be under these boats and uh, th then it actually looked like there was an uh, elevator bringing them up but of course that's uh, that's very tricky to build uh, and I'm not sure which park it was so I cannot really tell you uh, where to find those uh, vehicles that look like track pieces. Anyway, uh, I hope this uh, video was useful for you. If you want to see uh, how I covered up those towers, just look in the beginning of the video and then you can see the rides. And also, if you become a member on my Discord, um, there's an archive there with all the old uh, save files. So then you can just take a download those parks and take a look at them uh, at your own pace. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again in the next one. See you later!